Hello guys, it's Friday, it is 20 after 4, uh, 20 degrees in here, it's a pretty nice day out now, but it's been cold all week, frost this morning, rained all week, last weekend, but we do have a John Kerry sky today, but uh, I was hoping to make a video on bringing the truck in and getting the engine out of it, but Rain so hard last weekend that I couldn't move the truck from where it was. So, a buddy of mine had needed an inspection done on his car and he had some rocker issues on this nasty neon. Why well, I say it was nasty because it didn't look that bad when I started it. Uh, rockers were still on there. This is what they looked like when I started pulling them off. These are the rockers. What's left of them? Uh, they had a few holes in them, but this is what the rockers were made out of. So, this time, made them all out of 20 gauge. Uh, there won't be much fiberglass on these, just over the welds. And we're down low, not even going to do a whole lot of body work. Just smoothen it up, rock guard it. I gotta try to clean that rock guard off the bottom of the doors somehow and uh, get that. There was a lot of peeling paint on this car, uh, and once I got it off, it wasn't good. There's one spot that I'm not gonna cut out because it's too close to the door handle. Uh, I just treated it with the rust remover. And that rust gel, one is Diminusure Seal, the other is a Permatex product, so I don't know which one the best, so I use them both. Give them a couple applications, and it didn't do what it said it's supposed to do. So I'm going to knock that down, and put fiberglass over it, and then do the bodywork, and hope for the best. No, uh, no guarantees on that one. But uh, he's kind of in a hurry for his car uh, to get it inspected. This here was going up here. Uh, it was all blistered, but as soon as I hit it, well, as soon as I hit it, there's what happened. Uh, it was right through. So I had to put that section in, this section, little strip, and the bottom part where the bumper, whoops, bumper hooks on, the bumper still fits. Won't be a lot of body work there, because it, it, you know, it didn't change shape much, so that was good but uh, this rocker here was the same just fell off more or less so it got welded right along that ridge uh, I didn't want to get into rolling it inside the door um, I had to make these in three pieces because my brake is only three footer and that's well pretty much six feet in each side and uh, that was a lot of welding and grinding, believe me. You can see the marks up there where I give it a floor quick uh, sweeping. And the car is absolutely covered in grinding. And this side had a bunch of steel and paint like this uh, all around this ridge. And once I peeled it off, grinded it, sanded it, I ended up replacing all the way up along here, all the way back to there, and got the bumper fitting. There was a dent here, I got that pretty much out, I finished it up with the body fill. Here's some of the pieces I took out, it's pretty rusty stuff. Anyways, we got that fixed up, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a video, show you where I'm at, show you what I've been doing. Um, but the truck is coming in next because last Monday on the holiday, I did uh, get it up from down back where it was and uh, got it right out here. She's close to the garage door because she's going in next 
we're gonna I'm gonna pull the box off leave it out here so I can take the wiring harness off the tail end Ron from wrecking yard suggested I keep everything and that's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do because I don't know what I'm doing yet with the wires so um, and then I'll start piecing this thing out see what I can get out of it I did sell the back bumper off it last Monday so that gave me a little initiative to get the truck up here but it was kind of soft down there but she come out tires are really 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 good nice lots of deep tread so those will be the last to go because uh, I need to move this frame around anyways we'll go give her a little start up here um, truck hasn't been run for very much for a year pretty much a year so see how she's doing. whether it likes it or not whether I like it or not I'm going to give her a hook anyways I see the engine lights on so I might put the a little code reader there I might stick that in see what's going on with that and uh, but she's running good she's running really steady on the tack for what I know it's you know it says service airbag so maybe that's why the lights on I don't know we don't gonna worry about airbags. Anyways, say this whole thing probably needs a good run. It needs the oil change and all that. She uh, runs pretty good. So as soon as this neon's done, the truck's going in, and I'm gonna start sorting through these wires. Pull that motor. Uh, Check for leaks. I uh, don't think there's a lot of leaks. There's a little uh, dry around there. It's like greasy from being old. So. Other than that, motor doesn't sound too bad. It uh, when I was driving it, it run really well. It's, I hear a little ticky there now, but I think it's because it's been sitting. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna do it. Terry, WGBM123 suggests it, just put it in, run it until I need to fix it, see how she goes, because uh, everybody's saying these trucks go 400,000, no, you know, trouble free, trouble free, so, anyways, let's turn it off here. And I gotta, once I get the motor out of it, I'll go through all the parts and see what I got and see what's worth selling. It's a good fender, really good fender. Uh, the yellow one, it would do in a pinch if I fixed it. And, but, it would, like I said, it would do, somebody smashed theirs up really bad. Hood, I fixed that too, but it looks all right now. Grill needs cleaned up bumper probably sell this bumper too headlights all that stuff doors box is gonna go I'm just gonna try to move everything fast don't want a fortune for it just move it and they say the red support and all that stuff so anyways I'm gonna turn this off here and I'm gonna get some fiberglass on this thing and I'll turn it back on and then I'm gonna get the mud hog out and try and shape this thing up and uh, so I can get some body fill on it and go from there try to get this thing done by Sunday once I get the body work done it won't take long because like I said I'm not painting the bumpers just the uh, just downsides I think it'd be easier because there's spots all over and I can't blend so I'll just do the whole whole side so I'll be back here in a little bit and uh, actually I want to see check see if I got a part that some parts there that Ruben needs 
yeah, Hooban 66, so I'll uh, give him an update on them when I come back. Whether I got them, I'm not sure, so I gotta go check. And uh, but right now, I gotta get the fiberglass out so he can go to town on this thing. So I'll be back. Well, guys, it's now Saturday, quarter to six at night, <laughs> and he's still working on the neon. Uh, I was just about ready to put some primer on the bottom of this and this quarter panel. Uh, had a little trouble getting that body line, but finally got it close enough. She's not going to be perfect. Just uh, cleaned up. So, um, guy wants his car, but I just can't get it done today. I will be painting it tomorrow. I still got a lot of little stuff to do. Uh, I still got to sand it with 400 and clean up in here clean the car taper off so i will definitely be painting it tomorrow uh got that spot got that spot but uh it's a lot of work just to get everything ready so um but i do have uh reuben asked me about kick panels and reuben this is the only one i believe i have and it is for the passenger side uh the majority of it is in too bad a shape other than right here this flimsy part is cracked now, i don't know if you can fix that but uh i can't find the other one and something tells me it might have been broke and i just scrapped it i'm not sure but i will still look and you can well i'll put this away and when you get here for the rest of the parts, you can decide whether it's any good to you or you can trash it. So um, I do have uh, a dash out of a 78 Nova 2 that I put away. Not a dash, the instrument cluster, which I saved for you. I mean, it's no good to use, but there's some parts in there you might be able to use, bulbs and... Uh, that little gear indicator cable still in it and it's good the one you've fixed up on yours but that one's there so i'll save that for you too and i got some other parts which i'll you can look at once you uh get here and decide if you want them or not so we'll just turf everything then what you don't want can go and what you want can go with you so like i said that's not too bad a shape uh the vent part isn't too bad. Needs cleaned up, mind you. There's a lot of goop on it. As you probably know if you took yours out. Um, but, like I said, I'll save that. And also, I uh, had a good conversation with VW Darren today. And this might be what he needs for his Nova. So I told him I'd do a video on it. And uh, try to show this. This is a manual steering box. Out of a 1975 four-door Nova, um, there's the rag joint. Uh, this is this isn't leaking. It's nice and dry. I did wire brush it off because it was all covered with that stuff. But uh, it's a uh, three hole, three bull holes. But uh, as you can see, there's absolutely no no play in that at all um, there was no miles on this car there was only 68,000 miles on it and uh, an older lady had owned the car from new until the other fellow that I bought it from he bought it he didn't drive it much so there's lots of life left in this thing I think uh, there is a number on it let's see if I can focus in on this Come on. There we go. I think that's focused. I can't read it, but I think it's showing up in the camera. And here's the other part that I said was telling you that it goes up to the shaft. That's all here. Uh, Pitman arm, I think that's what you call it. That's still there. That bar across there is still there. If you need that, if you don't need it, we can take it off. And 
that thing there I don't know if it's any good or not but those pieces are there too uh, these inner or outer tire rod, inner tire rod ends are still on there I just cut them off just to get it off the car fast so anyways uh, that's it Darren and you can uh, let me know if this is what you're looking for hopefully it works um, this doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape actually it's in pretty good shape uh, like I was telling you these are the nuts I don't have but you probably got those so yeah, every time I try this it usually goes the opposite way or I can't get the holes lined up there you go but uh, no play and no leaks so and there's the top part or the adjuster so anyways that's it guys I, I'll uh, maybe do a video tomorrow of this thing with some paint on it I was hoping to get it done today but that's just not gonna happen I've been up here since 8 30 or 9 o'clock this morning and I've had enough uh, I'm gonna wash that thing down and give it some primer so that I can come out in the morning and put the rock guard on and then I could sand, wash it, paper it, sand it with 400, go through the steps. I'll try not to miss any, but anyways, uh, just a little video. Um, I don't know what I showed yesterday, but I'll add that on to this one, which you'll probably already have seen, because it'll be at the first, since it was Friday. This is Saturday, so. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope everybody has a good one. Take care.